Hello Gemini, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I am here to bring you your weekly love read. In this reading today we're going to take a look at the energy of the person that you're thinking of dealing with and connecting to in love and we're just going to see whatever messages spirit wants you to hear in regards to this connection, okay? If any part of this reading should resonate for you, be sure to show your support. The best way you can do that, Gemini, is by liking, sharing and subscribing. I am going to do a quick shuffle before we dive on into the messages. And a quick apology for the broken nail and the condition of my nails. Don't look too closely, but I hope it's something that you can work with me on this. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Two more shuffles, Gemini. Ooh. All right, first card coming through is the Nine of Swords reversed. <clears throat> Second card coming through is the Four of Wands reversed. Third card coming through is the King of Cups reversed. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Moon in reverse. Okay, that's interesting. We have all reversals that have come through. Okay, straight away, I get the sense with the Moon in reverse that someone is feeling very unhappy um, or is feeling very emotional about current the current circumstances or the current situation. I do feel with the moon in reverse that someone is trying to hide how they feel, but I feel like it's starting to get the better of them. Okay, when the moon is in reverse, this can speak to a suppression of our emotions, but I do feel what's happening here um, is it's starting to compound and it's starting to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And it's kind of like that pressure cooker you know, it, it's building and building and building to the point where someone's going to have to let out some steam, okay? The lid is literally going to blow off here. Yeah, and even underneath that, we have the Eight of Cups in reverse. So clearly, this is a situation where someone isn't feeling happy about current circumstances, yet... There's been a lot of emotional investment. It's almost like, do I just put up and shut up? It's kind of like that feeling. Almost like, do I just put up and shut up and just deal with it? So someone here is feeling that way. Okay, could be in it could be the, your person that's feeling this way. Do I just shut up and put up with it? I feel like it's someone who's still invested. Although the King of Cups has come out in reverse. So this could be someone that you are having uh, a relationship with. When I do see the King, I do see an energy of someone that you're either committed to at this time or someone that wants, you know, something serious. But because he's coming out in the reverse, it tells me here that someone is feeling very sensitive. Someone is feeling very upset or someone is allowing their emotions to get on top of them. And I feel like it's going to come out this week. It's going to show through. I do feel with the four of wands in the reverse that, you know, definitely there's a problem in this connection. There's a problem in this marriage. There's a problem in this relationship. Right now, there's a lot of uncertainty. Right now, things feel very unstable. Someone may be experiencing a lot of anxiousness or um, nervousness or insecurity because we do have the Nine of Swords in reverse here as well. So I'm sort of sensing, Gemini, that this is a situation that feels very rocky or unstable right now. And as a result, someone is feeling extremely anxious and nervous because with the nine of swords in reverse, it's like, I don't know what's going to happen. Are we going to, are we going to break up? Is this person going to leave me? Are they going to stick around? 
am I going to be left on my own? It's kind of like that situation. Someone is feeling extremely insecure. It could literally be brought on by someone's depression. I mean, the Nine of Swords can speak to depression. I, I do get that sometimes, especially with the King of Cups in reverse. Okay, this is someone who is allowing their depressive thoughts affect this connection, affect the relationship. This could be a Debbie Downer. This is someone who's feeling very down right now, almost feeling like they're, I don't want to say burying their head in the sand, but they're in some kind of deep, dark hole. And I just feel with the Four of Wands in reverse that it's a very unsettling energy. It's very unsettling. It's very disturbing. And I'm sensing here, Gemini, that maybe you're not liking it. There is a lot of um, uncertainty surrounding this situation, this relationship, this dynamic right now. I do sense here, Gemini, that this person does love you. Okay, when I see the King of Cups, this would tell me that this person does have strong feelings for you. But again, it's their depression, their mental health um, that is really sort of overtaking their feelings. I feel like this person that you're connecting to, Gemini, is either living in the past or is living in the future and they're not being in the present moment. And living in the past, living in the future is affecting the present moment. So let's grab some oracle cards to kind of just extend and expand on this. Okay, they're upside down. I don't know why this deck is upside down. We have religious factors. Okay, this person may, um, may be religious. Okay, they may be Part of some kind of a religious group. It says here, your love life is influenced by the religious upbringing and spiritual path. So straight away right now, I do feel that this person's mindset, their beliefs are really affecting this connection. And their thoughts and their beliefs right now are, are very different to your own. <clears throat> because I feel there's a difference here and that is affecting the relationship in some capacity, right? I do feel that maybe this person could be on the precipice of a spiritual awakening as well, I feel. So let's grab another oracle card for your reading. We have confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. Confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. So you could be connecting to a Leo right now. Um, but I, I, for some reason, Gemini, I'm getting the sense that that's your energy. You're the light. You're the light. And when I look at this lion, okay, it kind of looks like a light, you know, a, light, a, a glow, light globe, a light switch. It's like the light in the room. So I feel like you're this light. You're the bringer of light. And I feel that the person that you're connecting to is needing your energy or is needing your light, is needing your positivity right now. So on some level, I feel like you can inject or influence this person to maybe bring them out of this slumber that they are in, bring them out of this funk that they are in. I'm feeling right now that you're out of the two, you're more the confident one or you're the more optimistic one. So I do feel like this person is allowing their thoughts and their fears to overpower them right now. And I feel like that's where you come in, Gemini, and you can really sort of help this person um, be lifted up out of that funk, 
okay? Because I'm just seeing this light emanating from this line as really positive, okay? You might even inspire this person to have hope, okay? They're going through something very difficult right now, and I feel like you might inspire them to have faith and hope. So that's your reading. Hopefully that uh, resonated for you, Gemini. Don't forget to let me know in the comment section if it did. And until next time, take care.